two, we've seen a few tight ends break out this week. And here's a few guys heading into week three. I looked at on the waiver wire. The first guy is Max Williams of the Arizona Cardinals. So Max Williams, he's universally available in fantasy leagues in 100% of leagues. So in week two, we had a good ball game for this Arizona Cardinal team. Seven catches, 94 yards on seven targets. In week one, he was invisible. Only one target in that ball game. And this Arizona Cardinal team, they're going to throw the football a lot this season. They just run the football to keep you honest. But Kyla Murray, he's having a great year, no doubt. He definitely could be an MVP candidate. And right here, he's spreading the football all around the field here. Max Williams, if this guy's going to make some plays, it's definitely possible he could put up good fantasy numbers this season. So right here, he was involved here, had a good matchup versus the Minnesota linebackers in this ball game where they had a lot of injuries coming into the game. Here in week three, he's got a good matchup at the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Max Williams, he's a big target. He can make plays. And he's a guy to consider on the wave of Warrior this week after a game where he went for 94 yards in this one. And with a good matchup at Jacksonville in week three, the next tight end I will look at on waivers this week is Jack Doyle of the Indianapolis Colts. So Jack Doyle, he's a guy that every season he makes his way on this list and a forgotten tight end in this league. So right here in week two, five catches, 64 yards on eight targets. Also at a two-point conversion. In week one, we didn't see much out of him versus Seattle with three catches for 21 yards. But right here, like a Zach Pascal situation, obviously, with this Colt team, they're going to be trailing a lot in ball games this season, especially with Carson Wentz down, and we don't know when he's going to return, even though I think it's possible he could play in Week 3. But anyway, they're going to be trailing another tough matchup with Tennessee here in Week 3. And right here, Jack Doyle, he's still a tight end that could work the middle of the field and make plays for this Colt team. And right here, I would give him consideration this week on the waiver wire if you need tight end help. And he's available as well, pretty much universal in 99% of fantasy leagues. The next tight end I looked at this week is Jared Cook of the Los Angeles Chargers. So Cook, he was a week one mention ad on the wire. But right now, he got added in 17% of fantasy leagues heading into week two when he had a mediocre to poor game in week two versus Dallas, which I was surprised, only three catches, 28 yards, but he got added in 17% of fantasy leagues, and he's available still in 57%. So right here, week three, it's gonna be a tough matchup for the Chargers at the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously a divisional matchup, and obviously a game where Justin Herbert and this Charger team's gonna probably throw the ball 40, 45 times here. So right here, Jared Cook, he's a tight end that still could go out there and make plays. Obviously, he's a good target for Herbert, especially in the red zone, a big body guy. And in week one, he had a good game, five catches, 56 yards. And here in week three, we're going to see more volume and more targets. Like I mentioned, Chargers, they're going to throw the football all day to keep up with this chief offense. And right here, even after a poor game, I would give Jared Cook an end. And the tight end I looked at this week on the waiver wire is Dawson Knox of the Buffalo Bills. So Dawson Knox, he had a cheap fantasy day, two catches. 17 yards and a touchdown and last season we saw him as a goal line touchdown and red zone touchdown guy as well so right here he's the big target in that red zone package for this buffalo bill team and you know this bill team loves to throw the football 35 40 times regardless of the game script regardless of the running backs and we saw it once again in the blowout victory of miami 35 nothing so week one he had a decent ppr day four catches 41 yards and then this week, like I mentioned, a 2 for 17 and a touchdown. In week three, he's got a matchup with the Washington football team that aren't the greatest of defenses against the tight ends. And right here, I think I could see Dawson Knox have a decent game and possibly find the end zone. Right now, he's available as well in 94% of fantasy leagues. But he's a player that over the last couple of years has been a red zone target here for Josh Allen. So if you're in a pinch, I, I don't think he's a bad pickup is Dawson Knox in the fifth and final tight end. I looked ahead on waivers this week's Blake Jarwin of the Dallas Cowboys. So Blake Jarwin, he was out for the season after tearing his ACL week one last year in the 2020-21 season. But here, he's back to form now, back playing meaningful full snaps with this Dallas Cowboy team. Him and Dalton Schultz pretty much share the share load at the tight end position. But Blake Jarwin, he had three catches, 37 yards, on four targets and he's still working his way back in with this Dallas Cowboy team and now week three 
it's going to be a Monday night football matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles coming to town. You know, that's going to be a high scoring game, even though I thought this week two matchup at the Chargers was going to be high scoring. But both defenses, honestly, they made a few plays in this game and kept it low scoring, except especially in the second half, the Cowboys pulling it out. 20 to 17 but Blake Jarwin I think as the weeks go on he'll get healthier and get back into this offense and obviously Michael Gallup out a couple weeks here more targets to go around so right here I think he's a decent ad and he's available right now in 88% of fantasy leagues so that's a few tight ends I looked at on the waiver wire heading into week three of the fantasy football season.